How do you build a fully functional research station in the most extreme environment on Earth? Antarctica is not just cold. Temperatures can fall below minus 80, and hurricane-force winds rip across the ice sheet. To survive here, stations are designed like off-world habitats, and they must function without outside help for months at a time. Entire buildings are flown in as modular blocks that lock together quickly like oversized Lego in whiteout conditions. Every wall is packed with thick insulation. Structures are lifted on adjustable stilts to stay above rising snowdrifts. Electricity comes from rugged solar panels and oversized diesel generators built to handle months of freezing isolation. Fresh water is produced by melting glacier ice that has been frozen for thousands of years, filtered and stored for use. Nothing gets dumped on the ice. All waste is sealed in containers and flown back to civilization to protect the ecosystem. Massive satellite dishes handle data uploads, emergency calls, and even internet access for researchers. Inside, you will find bunk rooms, medical bays, and high-tech labs packed into climate-controlled modules. Some stations are even built on skis or hydraulic legs, so they can be moved if the shifting ice threatens their stability. For mind-blowing tech, follow the tech teller.